Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. I hope everybody is having a fabulous day today. So if you are into bags just as much as I am, then you're going to be completely obsessed with my channel. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to bug you almost every single day, hit that little bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. You can also follow me on Instagram. It's at joshi.michael. So today's video is all about my Coach Rogue 30 Classic. So if you're interested to see what's inside of this bag, then just keep on watching. Alright you guys, so I'm here today to talk about my Coach Rogue 30 Classic. So this is the classic original one, and it came with the lock, which is right here. It's pretty cool. Um, hopefully you can see that there. It just says Coach on, yeah, that side. I don't think it says any. Oh, it does. It says like the, uh, the horse thing on the other side, actually. Well, there. And then the zipper pulls are a little bit different, so you can like lock it. So let me show you that really quick. There. So pretty cool. Really love this bag. I was so fortunate that I was able to get this because I guess it is a like a sought after bag. Because it's like the original with the zipper pulls and then the lock and the key. Actually, the keys are in here. Uh, and this little key thing here. And then it has the charm here. And then I added this. This is, what is this? This is a Michael Kors, I think this is, what do you call it? Sherpa or something like that? Is that what it's called? Shirt not sh Wait, is that right? Sherpa? Is it like, it's wool, I think. I think that's what it is. There's like fuzzies on it. Okay, so anyway, I put that on there because it's got, the, it's black and it's got the gold hardware. So I thought it kind of just, I really, I have like bag charms and stuff like that. I just don't really use them that often. I really don't. I have like a lot of fox fur ones and stuff. And for some reason, I just don't use them, but I just happened to grab this one and I threw it on here. One thing that kind of still bugs me about this bag, as you can see here, you can see the indentation of when they shipped this. They had the handles inside of this pocket, which created this kind of indentation. So hopefully over time that will come out because that drives me crazy having that there. Um, I think it's just gonna take time to use it and everything and for it to come out. But this leather is so amazing. It's so soft and luxurious. And the bottom, you can see there. I think it just says, uh, yeah, genuine gloved hand pebbled leather. And the original ones have the pebbled handles as well. Hopefully you can kind of see that on camera, how they're pebbled. There. I love the contrasting stitching on this bag in the black. I think it looks really, really good. It does have the black suede on the side pockets here and then the inside gingham leg. So let me show you everything I have in this bag. I did not use the shoulder straps with this today. I just hand carried it. So that's how I used it. It's completely full, but as you can see, it's not too like bulging or anything weird. It's just a beautiful bag in the black with the contrasting stitching and then the brushed hardware. Love it, love, love, love it. It's gorgeous. Love that. All right, so let me show you what's in here. You can kind of see right there. In this one pocket here, I've got my custom Louis Vuitton pochette that I had made, which is awesome. Love this little thing. And that's all I think I have in that pocket, I think, yeah. That's it that's in there. And then the other side, I got a bunch of stuff, actually. So there's a ton of stuff on this side that I carry today. I have sunglasses, my pochette my kirigami. Then I have some Kleenex. I have some Kleenex, my long shop agenda, and another pair of Ray-Ban uh, sunglasses. And then that's all that's in that pocket there. So now the two sides are empty. So there's kind of what it looks like, like that. And then the main zipper compartment, love these zipper pulls. I really like these zipper pulls over the newer ones. I just like, I don't know, I like these better. And then the inside here, I actually don't have a lot of stuff in here. I just have my Nolita, 
what is that, 22? Is that what this is? The Nolita 22 with my bazillion lip products inside and I actually just got some more. <laughs> and I have more on the way. Like, I'm gonna do like a lip product thing because I am obsessed with this Buxom Lip Plump Cream stuff. This is like my new favorite. I'm obsessed. Okay, you guys all, if you've been watching me, you know how much I love my Balm de Rose by Terry Lip Balm. Well, this is $60 versus $20, okay? So 60 versus 20, and I like this one better. It's less expensive, yet it's still very moisturizing and plumping, and it smells good, and it has a tingle to it. I love it. Love the Balm de Rose, but I'm definitely digging the Buxom uh, Lip cream and this one is in the color white russian so it's a nude color i actually have it on right now it's just nude so it doesn't really like have like it, there's no sparkles in it and you can kind of see there's kind of like the color like the bomb de rose and then the right white russian but um so that's those two and then of course i have my i have my two faced <laughs> lip plumpers in here i have my Chanel lip balms in there too, which I st I still like these. These are still great for like just like a quick like lip balm basically, but definitely that Buxom is just it's some good stuff. Let me tell you. So I love this thing. This is such a great catch-all for these big bags, and it fits in that center compartment perfectly. I think you can even fit it in the other the side. Well, maybe not. Hold on. Actually, yeah, it fits in there too. Look at that. So you could put it in there. And you know what? It doesn't bulge or anything. It looks fine. Cool. Well, just so you know, if you want to put your Nolita, whatever that is, 22, 26, whatever, in there, it fits in the side pockets perfectly. Okay. All right, and then in the center, I have another pair of sunglasses. These are my Cliff House ones. They're my favorite. I have a pair of Sperry <laughs> socks. I always like to carry spare socks with me. Um, because if I'm gonna be like gone or like walking a while, I change my socks out because I'm weird. Okay, and then I have, I don't have anything in the kiss lock thing here, but in the zipper pocket, I do have my, I think I'm, what am I using, my Gucci? I can't remember what car I'm using. Yes, I am still using, gosh, I've been using this like nonstop like crazy, my Gucci Marmont car holder. So that is what was in the slip pocket right there, and that's it. So that's all I have in this bag. I love the Coach Rogues. I just love the Rogues. They're my favorite Coach bag. I just love these bags. I really, seriously, highly, highly recommend it. It's such a good size and such a good design. That's probably why I have like, I don't know, what do I have, like nine of them or something like that? It's just, it's a good bag. It's a great everyday bag. And it has the strap where you can use it for a shoulder bag if you want, or you can attach the two and then diagonally put the straps there like that, and you can wear it crossbody. I think the 30 is ridiculously too big to wear crossbody. The 25 and the mini 17, I think, you can wear those crossbody, and I think they look good, but the 30, in my opinion, looks stupid crossbody. So handheld, I think, looks best, or over the shoulder is perfectly fine too. But today, I usually do have the straps on it, but today I just used it. Uh, hand carry just like that and it actually took my Saint Laurent uh, Lulu bag out with me and when I was running into some places that's what I just grabbed instead of taking this whole thing with me I just took that but love 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 the rogues I want to add the one in sky blue as well I don't know if I want the 25 or the 30 I haven't really decided what size yet but we shall see hopefully these lines come out you can see that where they had the freaking straps laying in there it's like it stretched it out or something so i like need to like maybe i'll just load this back up and use it again tomorrow maybe i just need to use it a whole bunch and those lines will eventually like fade or whatever but great bag love it i don't find it to be too heavy either by the way i don't think it's like an all other bag basically but i don't think it's too heavy i just i just don't this is a fine you know, wait for me. But yeah, this this thing fits in any of the pockets. You can just stick it on in there. I'm just gonna shovel my stuff back in how I had it, actually. I might as well, right? I think I'm just gonna use it again tomorrow, so we're just gonna stick it all back in there. I know you can probably, sorry, if this is annoying and you can't see, I'm sorry, but. Oh my gosh, should I keep like zipping it? Oh, there we go, okay. 
thought it was like locking it, or not locking it, but the zipper thing, you know what I mean. Put the socks back in here. We'll just kind of shove everything in here. How about that? How about that? Okay. I'm kind of doing this like really quick. We're just throwing it all in here. Boom, we're done. I have all these, <laughs> all these freaking sunglasses, but there we go. Stuffed back up. Love this bag. Love, love, love it. Such a good bag. Good job, coach. Good job. Love it. All right, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and I don't have, I didn't put my, throw my robe on because I literally just got home and I wanted to film this just right now. <laughs> so I am going to change exercise, shower, and make dinner then. So that's why I don't have the robe on because I'm going to put it on after. <laughs> All right, thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. And until next time, you guys keep it tight. Talk to you later. Bye.